After a disappointing 2022 regular season, the Atlanta Hawks may have just won the offseason by trading Gallo and several picks for DeJounte Murray, an all-star, all-defense partner to pair with Trey Young for the foreseeable future. And while many people are concerned about the fit with both of these players being primary point guards and all, I am not worried. The NBA is almost positionless these days, and when you have two all-star caliber players who can do a whole bunch of different things on the court, I am much happier with what they bring to each other's games than I am worried about who's going to be the official shooting guard for the team. It's probably going to be Murray because he's taller. Like, it's that simple. Both of these guys could play either guard position. They're both very good playmakers, and I cannot wait to see the fit here. The biggest thing for the Hawks is the defense DeJounte Murray brings. Trey Young, everyone knows, is one of the best offensive players in the entire league, while simultaneously being one of the worst defensively. He has made strides on that end, but going from literally the worst defender in the league to just one of the, I guess, slightly less terrible defenders, like, he's atrocious defensively. He is still an absolute nightmare on the defensive end, and adding in DeJounte Murray, who is a phenomenal perimeter defender, is going to be huge, huge, for this Atlanta team. Combine that with the fact that Clint Capella, who had a massive down year last year, I don't know if he was struggling with injury or what, but based on his past play and the emergence of Onyeka Okungwu, who has been improving and low-key might be one of the better backup centers in the league next season, especially on the defensive end, this team could be incredibly scary, not just next year, but going forward. This team is super young. Looking at the roster, I don't know what's going to happen with John Collins. He may get traded for a different power forward. Maybe he'll stay. We don't know yet. But a core of Trey Young, Clint Capella, Bogdanovich, Herter, Hunter, Okungwu, and now DeJounte Murray? That is an insane young core, a whole bunch of very young players. The team can afford all of them. They can continue to keep them on the team. They're going to be good on both ends of the floor. And not only does DeJounte Murray add a whole lot on the defensive end, he massively improves this team offense as well. There is finally another guy you can give the ball to and have Trey Young play off of. He is one of, if, one of, if not the best creators in the league, but he needs help. One guy cannot do everything. And finally, there is another player for Trey Young to get some help from. Somebody to actually pass him the ball and get him open threes to help take some of that scoring load off and to switch with him so that when Trey Young is not on the floor, this team's offense is not a steaming pile of garbage. This is a massive improvement for the Atlanta Hawks. And for the record, the Spurs did get a decent return for, uh, for DeJounte Murray, all right? A lot of people are crapping on their return. They got three first-round picks, a pick swap, and Danilo Gallinari, who you can certainly trade for at least one more first-round pick. So as far as I'm concerned, they got four first-round picks out of this deal. That's a pretty good deal, okay? I know DeJounte Murray is a very good young player, but realistically, he was not going to be the superstar to carry this team into a new contender, all right? He just wasn't. He's already 25 years old. He's going to be very good. He's going to be a consistent all-star, but he's not the guy who I think can single-handedly lead your team to a championship, and they're still in the middle of their rebuild. They need to draft some more players, so this was the right move for the San Antonio Spurs, in my opinion. <clears throat> Sorry that my voice is cracking a bit. I have a sore throat that I'm recovering from. But I had to talk about this because this trade is incredible. There are a whole lot of other big uh, trades that have gone on lately. John Wall to the Clippers is another big signing recently. We'll have to wait and see how that ends up playing out. I plan to make a video on that in the coming days. But DeJounte Murray to the Atlanta Hawks is huge. I'm expecting a massive turnaround from this Hawks team. I'm not positive that they're going to be quite on that contender level yet, but a tier below, I'm 100% expecting. This is going to be an annual playoff team from here on out. They are young. They have good players on both ends of the floor. They have good depth. Their coach did a good job two years ago. I'm not really sure what happened to him last year, but worst come to worst, they can fire him and hire someone else. This team has an incredibly bright future, and this was an excellent signing for both DeJounte Murray and especially for the city of Atlanta.